It is a very, very exciting day because I'm finally doing a Zane tier list, which I've been wanting to do for so long. But every time I go to attempt to do it, I'm like, I can't possibly rank these songs. They're all so personal to me. This is my favorite artist, human being in the entire world. It's that save my life artist. We all have one of those. Zane's that person for me. This felt like the perfect opportunity though, because the mind of mine, seven year anniversary, holy fuck, by the way, seven years, seven years, like, are we serious? Is approaching very quickly. And I just feel like this is a cool way to show some love because this is still my favorite Zane album to this day. It's my favorite album ever made ever in the history of albums that I've ever placed my ears and hearts into. As you can see, I have this kind of dirty, hoodie mind of mine all the tracks i had this made when back when the album came out march uh 2016 uh because i had quickly knew this would already be my favorite of all time so i've had this for a long time so don't mind the tear stains yeah I i'm excited guys as we can see we have z and and z's autobiography staring us on as i judge all his songs and by the way i am going to be judging the songs be nice be easy on me just know that it comes from a place of love i've heard all these songs thou like literally thousands of times this is just my guy there's no other way to put it like this is my fucking guy this dude just it means everything to me the the the, uh, the things that his music has done for me shit man maybe maybe we'll get into it as we get into some of these songs i don't know i don't know if y'all can see that right there but that right there says mind of mine as you can see we have the tiers up here we have zodly which is just as good as it gets obviously top tier it's one tier ahead of godly because zodly is just ahead of godly godly with a z is the only way godly can get any better so zodly is the best godly is still as close to the best as possible then we have zoetry zoetry is poetry like this song is just straight zoetry <laughs> a lot of z letter work here obviously but that's kind of what we do in squad uh next track next category is vibes kind of self-explanatory obviously playing off of the song vibes but also the song is just a vibe man it means that i enjoy the song i just vibe out to it so then we have i actually l only had usually skip this at first and that was it that, those were all the tears but then i really started thinking there's songs that i usually skip but still listen to sometimes and then there's other songs that I have to just say, I forgive you, Zane, because I'm not listening to this song. <laughs> so there's definitely a difference between those two. We will get to those when we get to those. This is Zane. There's not a lot of those. The man does not really miss. Hey, we're all human, man, and we all, we've all got different tastes. So we are going to start this thing off with the Mind of Mine intro. Starts off the album, starts off the Zane experience, and it's just a blessing on your ear as you're being ascended to the fucking gates of heaven it's just so gorgeous man it's only a minute so that's gonna keep it away from zodly but it's as close to that as it can get like imagine if this was full like three to four minutes just him doing this it'd be nuts so this is gonna be in godly next up is a little track a little track a little track that did did all right it did all right it's got a few streams you know, a few views on the YouTube video. Baby moms in the music video. No big deal. Just a little flex here and there. It's fucking Pillow Talk. It's the lead single. It came out before the album. And I lost my shit when I first heard this song. And it's still Zodly. Pillow Talk is still Zodly in 2023. Argue with the wall. Pillow Talk, Zodly, forever and always. You gotta be kidding me that the, this is this man's solo lead single. Solo artist lead single is Pillow Talk. Nobody does that. Literally nobody. Name the artist who's got the so, like solo debut single that's at the level of Pillow Talk. And I will sit here and wait for the rest of my life for an answer. All right, so now we're getting into maybe matter of personal preference. I don't know, but it's you is my favorite Zayn song, possibly. It's definitely top three. Uh, it's kind of personal though. Like I just really enjoy the brutal honesty of the song. He kind of just cuts right into the, the truth of it all and like how he's really being made feel by this person. And I really appreciate that along with the fucking haunting vocals. We all know, we all know. 
like and the honda stage performance of this too just elite stuff fun fact in zane's autobiography uh he has the lyric he has some lyrics written and the lyrics are she got her own reasons for talking to me she don't give a fuck about what i need uh and that that's self-explanatory i have that tattooed on me and i have it tattooed on me in zane's handwriting straight from the book uh, so that's something that I get to carry with me forever and I'm really fucking proud of that and it's personal It's personal because I felt that I have felt that uh, feeling and I felt like that's something I wanted to put on me forever because I wanted to remember what that was like to be made feel like that by somebody I don't cover the scars. I let them bleed. This is Zodly. Let's just be straight forward about it This is Zodly and, and for me, it's just it, it's one of the easiest Zodlys there's gonna be on here Here's the thing. I know that some people are gonna be like, oh, he's putting all these songs in Zodly the top tier His list isn't that interesting. He just really loves Zayn. Well, it's true. I really love Zayn This is my favorite album of all time So that being said where are you before you are also zodly and listen like i said this is my favorite album of all time we're gonna have a few zodlies from here because these are also some of my favorite songs of all time this album to me is just like the very definition of start it press play at the beginning let it ride out to the end and by the end of it you're just like a mess like you're a fucking mess but you're also just fucking vibing out man and you're like Oh, he hit that note, and what was, what did he just say, and what are the synths doing to me, and, and Ho Malay, like, fucking killed it on the production, and yeah, it's just, the the high note in this song, and before, it's also one of my favorite Zane music videos, I love the hometown touch, and it feels so Zane, uh, and I just have so much appreciation for a song like this, that is just, like, constantly moving and feels so great the whole time you're listening to it, and the whole time you're listening to it, you're like, that high note's coming, that high note's coming. All right, speaking of high note, maybe almost definitely the most ridiculous high note on the album one of the most ridiculous high notes in zane's whole discography uh comes in she and i love this song because now we're getting into like r b zane and i'm like yo i can hear like the mario influence i can hear the usher influence and i'm so here for it i'm gonna put she and godly because to me it's not on the level of the three up top but it's still fucking godly like it's still an amazing song it's a great r&b track and it fits the vibe of the album so well and like it's more of like a traditional sounding song for zane and then as the as the album progresses we get into some real quirky really unique type production uh so this is like where we stay in like this is the earlier part of the album before things start to change a little bit and and i like that, that it exists in that part of the album every single time drunk comes on i think of that zane periscope remember periscope by the way i think of that zane periscope he did in the staircase where he previewed some of the songs and when he previewed drunk all i could think was yo this is gonna be my fucking song i was just crying like yo this is gonna be my song this is gonna be my summer song i feel it and it came out and it was my summer song drunk all summer drunk all summer yeah it's just a fucking jam it is vibes level to me i feel like the very definition of the category vibes is what the track drunk is for so we're gonna use that category we're gonna throw it into vibes i'll take a what and when zane says when zane says i'll take a shot for you that means that you take a shot for Zayn, all right? You don't question it, you just do it. Cheers. This is the only way I was gonna do this video. So let's just be transparent about that now. This is very personal for me. I'm glad we've gotten to this song. This is the intermission and this is just, uh, until the flower of this love has blossomed, this heart won't be at peace. You find out the translation and you're just like, Zane, you are coming at me real hard there. So uh, I'm glad we got to this point because this is the literal perfect definition of zoetry. And it's just so personal, man. The fact that he always incorporates this onto his albums uh, as much as he can is something that us as fans have such a deep appreciation for. Zane always stays true to his roots and true to himself. And that's why he is who he is, and that's why we love him so much, and that's why we're just so patient. Okay, we are at Rearview. And I'm gonna be honest, Rearview could go in Zoetry, except it's more of like, dis Zoetry. Rearview is Zodly. Rearview is so fucking 
good. It's so good. And then this. Stories that sound what? The fucking lyrics on this song are so elite. He says so much on this song and makes it like a whole vibe at the same time. This song could go in zoetry, it could go in vibes, it could go in godly, but it's better than that. It belongs in zodly, so that's where it's gonna stay. Next up is Wrong featuring Kelani. And this is the only feature on his debut album, so you know that that meant a damn lot to him. This is also a god of features. Zayn knows how to do a feature. He knows how to collab with somebody. And this song's just great. It's great. I will say this song's gonna go in vibes for me, because it's just, it's a vibe, man. That's how I feel about the song. It's not on the level of like my favorite songs on the album, but I still really enjoy it when it comes on. It's kind of a go-to for sexy time. Zayn has a lot of sexy songs, but this is up there with some of the sexiest ones. He's just like, yo, I'm not the one, like, I'm, I'm not in that place in my life right now for this love, but I'll give you something else. I got that for you. Come get it. <laughs> so shout out to Kehlani. She does her thing on this track, man. All right, y'all hear that playing. You know what song this is. Fool for you. And I feel like the most iconic part of this song is the first time we all heard it. Because the album is the album, right? It has a very specific sound even though it's very uh there's a lot of variety in sound but when this track comes on it's like wait we got the piano ballad we got the zane piano ballad straight vocals there are a couple things on this track i wish i could change from a ballad -y standpoint and a, and a purity standpoint but i still have so much appreciation for the fact that this exists for the vocals he serves on this. I'd probably take away a couple of the layers in the chorus. That's what I really mean when I say I'd make a change. But he does the runs all over the place and it's gorgeous and it's godly. It's godly. All I know is that if we ever got a tour one day, this song better be on that set list. Like, talk about a must. Talk about serving vocals live and just shitting tears. We have reached it. It's Borders. Let's get straight to the point. Bur Borders is Zodly. Not only is it Zodly, Borders is probably my favorite Zayn song. Uh, Borders is, in is incredible. I don't even need to break it down. If you're sleeping on Borders, wake up. Wake up. I know it's not towards the top of like the streamed songs on this album. I don't know why, because this song is fucking incredible. It's got this like stream of conscious vibe to it not on the same level as lucas aid but still on the level of like just this creative masterpiece it has the vibe of some of the other songs where it feels like there was alcohol involved in the process but it's still completely transparent and makes sense it's crystal clear where it's going and what makes sense of it it's this chorus this song does things to me this song physically and mentally just does things to me. I don't know how else to put that. Truth, we all know truth. I mentioned Rearview kind of being like this diss track bop. I mean, truth is like full blown diss track, but at the same time, it's just like, yo, I'm gonna talk my truth. I don't know how many times I have to say this to you. This ain't my scene. This ain't my dream. Truth has got to go in zealotry because he's just talking his shit on that. Uh, I love the transparency. I love how real he gets on the track. So for that reason and, and those reasons we're gonna put it there and also i think of honda stage when i think when i think of truth and it holds a special place in my heart because of that lucozade okay lucozade is the definition of poetry but here's the thing if you don't love lucozade with every ounce of bone and blood you have i urge you to have a few drinks and get in a car, or if you don't have access to that, just get into a speaker, play this song really fucking loud. Make sure those drinks are seeped into your system and really allow this song to soak you over. And pay attention to the fact that there's no chorus and it's very stream of conscience. It's just Zayn, like, foaming at the mouth lyrically. Things are just coming out, but he's saying a lot. Like, he is spitting on this song. If there's any precursor to the fact that Zayn was gonna drop all these rap tracks that he's dropped over the last couple years, it's Lucas 8. Lucas 8 is a rap track. 
It is. He's just singing a lot of it. And he is spitting. And for all those reasons, Lucas 8 is fucking zodly. It's zodly. It's T.O. time. I mentioned Wrong as a song for sexy time. Well, this is like the most straightforward, like sexy time type song. I mean, it's just super obvious. I don't even need to like explain it to you. If you're a squad, if you're a fan of Zayn, you know, you just know it's Tio. Tio's vibes, Tio's vibes. Blue, I'm gonna be honest. I think Blue needs and deserves more appreciation. Blue's an experience. I mentioned the Mind of Mind intro as something that's kind of like this Ascension to Heaven type experience. I think Blue's the same thing. I think Blue's an Ascension to Heaven, but you're also like really going through the darker parts of Zayn's mind. And those darker parts is someone who experiences dark feelings, but is a lover at their core. Is like a really hardcore lover is who this person is. And this is poetry. And for all those reasons, Blue goes in zoetry because it's straight up zoetry. Also, if you look at the lyrics to Blue, it's a poem. The whole thing's a poem that he just sings. Next up is Bright. Bright's kind of another sexy-ish time song, but not totally sexy time because the synths come in really quick and you don't want to be thrusting at that pace because it'll kind of be like quick experience for you. Anyways, Bright's going to be vibes for me. And I don't have much else to say aside from I love those synths. The song hits really hard in the car. And again, when you're just in that zone, Bright hits hard. Next up is Like I Would. I mean, we all have so much love in our hearts for Like I Would. Like I Would is a uh, second single. Before it was also a single, but I don't really like before got no push it got a video and then zayn vanished <laughs> like i would got a legitimate push as a single also like i would is the song he performed and crushed at the i believe it was the amas the american music awards and he performed it the most live out of all the songs and for for that reason more than anything it has a really special place in my heart um so because of all the live performances that we don't get from zayn but that we have for this song it's gonna go in godly next up is she don't love me i'm gonna keep it really real with you i'm gonna keep it real with this whole time with you i fucking love this song this is one of my favorite zane songs it's going all the way in zodly i love how straight up he is like i love his vocals on it i think i know she don't love me it has this more raw feel compared to a lot of the other tracks too uh it's just a lot of his vocals like if you fix it in on the real um, the real bones of the song. It's just Zayn singing. It's just so many so much of his vocal and I appreciate that so much Okay, next try, next song is do something <laughs> This is all this is a bonus song and it's only on CD so Technically, I don't really listen to this often because I would have to go to YouTube to listen to it or I have to like put the CD in to listen to it uh, I will say if this song was available like on streaming, I would probably I would probably skip it most of the time. I listen to it once in a while because it's fun. It's funny. Um, he's high as fuck. Like when I smoke, I would definitely jam this. But it wouldn't be something I listen to over and over again. So I I usually skip this, even though I don't really listen to this like that. Because again, it's a bonus track that's not available for streaming. Now a song that I would not be skipping if it was available for streaming is golden and if you know you know golden to me is kind of what i wanted fool for you to do in certain parts like if you can take fool for you and golden and fucking combine them and turn them into one song you have the perfect ballad zane ballad off of debut so i love golden i would never skip golden uh especially if i was in a car and i really wanted those vocals right up in my ear and those beautiful falsettos uh, and there's that majestic chorus, the choices we make. Golden to me is godly. It's godly. We are done with Mind of Mine. I can't believe it. I promise you we're not going to get this many godly choices in other albums. Again, this is my favorite album ever made. The only skip on it is not even on the original version. It's on the bonus, like, can't even stream version. Uh, so that says all you need to know about how much I love this album. This is just like... An all-timer for me, man. I, I can't say enough things about what this album has done for me. It got me through the hardest breakup of my entire life. It got me through some really complicated feelings for a family member of mine that I've, I definitely have had a tumultuous relationship with. Um, and when it comes to like tumultuous relationships with several people that I've had in the past, this album really navigated those for me. And more so than anything, it just gave me an outlet to feel. It gave me an outlet to feel. It gave me an outlet to 
connect very specifically with with what's being said and the feeling of it and the emotion coming through in the songs and uh, forever and ever like the amount of tears i cried to these songs the amount of feelings i felt i just there's no album that's ever gonna come close i feel like and uh, zane's connected with me forever and ever for that whenever i'm putting someone onto zane i literally just tell them to listen to mind of mine from start to finish and if you come out of that not appreciating zane at the very least i don't know what the fuck you were listening to we are on to icarus falls icarus falls is up there in the corner that is the vinyl icarus falls that i of course got my hands on i give a few away too on twitter follow me on twitter because i give away a lot of zane shit uh whenever i can get a bunch of stuff uh in bulk uh, because I love to share the Zane love. I also made sure that I'm rocking the Zane Icarus Falls hoodie, which is my favorite hoodie that I own in existence. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm also wearing paint by Zane uh, sweatpants right now, by the way. But you guys can just, you, you know what it looks like. If you're in a squad, you know what it looks like. First song that we're going to rank off of Icarus Falls. I'm going to go through these faster because this is the longest album ever made in the history of life is let me let me the single we love it we love the briefcase stuff we love the the cleverness in the music video we love uh woman kicking ass so zane's like in his like pop r b bag for me on icarus falls especially on the first half like the good half uh and i eat that stuff up especially when i get in the car and i really blast it so for me let me goes into god not to mention it was just like such a change from mind of mine like when this came out and it was a single it was just like oh this is different and it's like so zane at the same time next up we have natural feels so natural when we come together zane is the freak of all freaks we know this uh and i appreciate that about him i really love this song a lot uh to be honest this song is also gonna go in to godly i just love it's so good man and the like a hurricane like a hurricane like a hurricane at the end he's just really going off and i love this song i love it so much okay back to life is also godly but i want to specifically because you guys are listening to this right now i want to go to the part of back to life that really gets me i love the bridge on back to life it's one of my favorite zayn bridges period this is godly just for the bridge listen to this Yeah, it's one of my favorite Zayn bridges on Back to Life. Uh, it's going to go to vibes. Because for the most part, other than the bridge, I just kind of vibe to the song. But when I get to that bridge, I really freak out. The bridge is godly. The rest of the song is definitely vibes. Next song is Common. Always looking out behind my fences. Always felt isolated. I don't know why I was so defensive. I'll find a way to let you in. We know the rest of the lyrics. We know the song. It's poetry. It's zoetry. Common is zoetry. Common is like going back to that person you've been in love with and are finally like revealing like the things that you've been holding inside of yourself and you just let them in like hey i'm sorry this is what's really going on and it's just straight zoetry man common is zoetry and it's so good i love common and i think it's so amazingly written and i love his vocals on it imprint imprint is imprint is definitely po is um vibes imprint is definitely vibes I don't ever skip imprint because i definitely enjoy it and i like the vibe to it and i like to it's different it's got like a different production style to it uh, kind of reminds me a little bit more of the mind of mind stuff but it also fits well on the album but it's definitely the vibes level for me stand still definitely I feel like because of the time standstill, move I will. I just love the way that that's worded. Uh, there's the kaleidoscope sort of um, visuals of the nature on the music video for it, the video of the visualizer for it. Uh, I just really enjoy a lot of things about standstill. And to be honest, it's kind of zoetry. Like standstill is zoetry. Like that is a the like just classic Zane poem shit. All right, let's get let's start getting to to the shit that really gets me on. Icarus Falls. I love tonight. I love tonight. I think it's just like the R&B fan in me. Like this is such a great R&B jam. I love his vocals on it. I love the kind of cut straight to the enunciation type vocals on it. I love that Zane's voice is so crisp and clear. Um, I just really love this song, man. And if you really 
like this is the kind of song that you're blasting and you are screaming the words to this is also a must for me when we get to his tour flight of the stars you know what it is this is different man when this came on i was like oh zane's doing the drake thing Zane's doing the Drake thing on Flight of the Stars. I mean, that whole beat drops, and then he does the whole, I've been feeling high since I touched your body. Wait for it. Wait for it. Flight of the Stars is a vibe. It's the very definition of a vibe. If I got you, I'm obsessed with if I got you. If I got you is zodly to me. I don't see any other way. The whole song to me builds up to that crazy high note and it's classic Zane at the end of the song. He does the high note and he just goes nuts. It's not just one high note in the song. Like He is truly going nuts at the end of that song. I think If I Got You is my favorite Zane vocal song. Because he does the anywhere, anywhere you go in the beginning around the universe. His vocals are crystal clear. And he's doing like crazy vocals at the end for a lot of the song. I think If I Got You is, is like that song for me vocally for Zayn. Uh, and it puts me in, it puts it in Zodly for me. Like talk, talk To Me is a, a kind of personal fave for me because it kind of gives me a little bit of a Latin vibe a little bit. It's got this folky vibe too. Like Talk To Me kind of covers multiple genres in one song. It's a total different change of pace for Zayn. Uh, it's vibes for me though. There you are. Oh, there you are. What do I have to say about there you are? There you are is the most mad I think I've ever been. Well, I actually, when we get to nobody's listening, that might change. But up to this point, there you are was the most mad I had ever been that he that a song of his didn't explode. This song should have been everywhere. There you are just should have been. Everywhere, everywhere where, where songs exist, the radio, the internet, just all over the place. This is the kind of song that everybody should just absolutely swallow and love and enjoy every second of. There You Are is perfect. It's the perfect pop and li with a little bit of R&B elements, but it's just a perfect pop song. It is a little bit One Direction-ish too. It's an interesting like sound for him. Uh, but it's per he does it so well, man. I don't mind is the definition of a vibe. I really don't know what else to say about this song aside from that. It's the definition of vibes. Vibes was made for songs like I Don't Mind and Drunk. Those songs actually remind me of each other a little bit. I think I stood too close to the sun, call me Icarus. I mean, the beautiful soaring vocals at the end. This is just like uh, the, it's like the Mind of Mine intro, except I think it's more poetic than that song is. And I think it's perfect for Zoetry. Icarus Interlude is just straight poetry. I think Zane was getting even better at poetry as time went on when Icarus Falls came out. And I think that this song is one of the very definitions of Zane, like writing out poems and turning it into a song and being like, oh, this works perfect for the change in the album. Because he says, I flew, everything's all good, right? He's so happy the first half of the album. And then he's like, oh, I flew too close to the sun. It's time to change the feel of the album. And now we're going to get into the darker stuff on the, on the album. Good guy off of Icarus Falls. You know what Zayn's advantage over everybody in the, in the world is? It's his voice. His voice makes the song. I'm a bad man. I'll do all that I can to sing these fucking vocals. It's really because of vocals that make this song... That, that keep this song into a... I think good guy is godly. I really do think it is, man. Because when you really get into it, you're really playing it real loud and you're really just vibed into it. There's something nice about his cadence on the song and then when he really starts vocalizing the beginning part and kind of slurring some words in like the intentional casual Zane way, it's just real nice, man. And the lyrics in that song go really hard too. You Wish You Knew. You Wish You Knew is an interesting one. I can't say that I haven't never skipped You Wish You Knew. There's been times that I've found myself skipping You Wish You Knew, but I don't most of the time. So I can't put it in usually skip this because I don't always skip it. There's often times where I'm just in the mood to vibe out to it. And that's because of this right here. So we're gonna go to vibes. And also, it's one of my favorite bridges. It's just another iconic Zane diss track. All right, I'm gonna get so much shit for this. I'm gonna get so much shit for this, but I gotta be honest, man. I, I can't spread an ounce of a lie on this. This is too important to me in general to not be completely honest. Sour Diesel's a, a usual skip for me. I love that he took the risk. 
I love that he took the risk. It's not even that I don't think it's a good song. I think it's a good song. It's just not the type of song I would listen to normally. So I usually do skip S Sour Diesel, if I'm being honest. You know what I never skip? Like literally ever is Satisfaction. Satisfaction is, I think, maybe Zayn's most underrated song. It's definitely his most underrated music video. That music video is cinema. Satisfaction is zodly. Satisfaction is perfect. Satisfaction needs more attention. Satisfaction needs more love. Satisfaction is beyond satisfaction. Let's love satisfaction more. Listen to those vocals. I would be lying if I didn't say that I don't usually skip scripted. It just says what it is. It could be borderline zoetry, but I just mostly skip it. Hey, okay, Entertainer is one of my favorite Zayn songs ever made in the history of Zayn songs. It's Zodly. It's like a top five Zayn song for me. He goes cut throat in this song and I'm so here for it and I just I think the song is perfect I think the production is perfect I love the softness of his vocals but at the same time it's like really like it can go on vibes so perfectly but it's so much better than all those other songs that it's got to go way above that all that is going straight straight to zoetry all that is an incredibly written song and let's just talk about it you feel distant reactions are instant if emotions are constant let's say for instance that you had a conscience would you take the time then to weigh out the option who's writing like that who is writing songs like that tell me show me who's writing songs like that crazy stuff this man does not get the respect for his pen that he deserves aside from squad obviously we appreciate the fuck out of the pen but I'm here to scream about all that zoetry from the top of the hills. Good years has to be godly. And it's just the honesty of it. With good years, we get a look into a part of Zayn that I feel like we weren't privy to. We could have definitely assumed about, but the fact that he was so transparent and really let us in like that will forever mean everything to me. And I know all of us as fans. Um, so. It just could never be less than godly just for that. And the vote, like the emotion in the vocal throughout the whole song, this is just like all timer. Fresh Air is a vibe to me. I like Fresh Air. I also have this candle right here. It's called Fresh Air. And I only got it because of Zayn. So because of that, we will put Fresh Air into vibes. It is a vibe. I'm gonna be honest. I usually skip Rainberry. I, I, it's catchy. I like the rain, Barry, falling down your blood, red lips. Why are your eyes? I, I, it's clever. I, and I think it's catchy, um, but I usually skip it. Oh, insomnia is so slept on. And that's, there's, uh, that's ironic because insomnia, you're always awake. But yet everyone's sleeping on insomnia. Insomnia is zodly. Insomnia is fucking zodly. Yeah, I, I just love that chorus. I can't say enough that how much I love that chorus. So we've reached the first one and I got to do it because I can only be honest once again about this. I forgive Zayn for this. I don't like this song. I never have, I, I never will. It's a single, I appreciate that like, I've heard it outside, like at malls or like in restaurants because it seemed to have done kind of well on mainstream. Fingers to this day is Zayn's most R&B song. And because of that, it can't be less than godly. It just can't because it is straight R&B and I'm so appreciative that it exists. So much as another track that's meant for vibes. It's meant for vibes. It's got Timbaland on it. Timbaland is a vibe in himself. He creates vibes for a living. Zayn's voice is perfect on it. He is just riding that the fuck out of that beat, but it doesn't do enough to be any better than that, uh, but it's still vibes. I put the wrong song in vibes. I meant to put too much in vibes. Still got time is funny because it is the definition of vibes, but it's better than vibes. Still Got Time is so good. I have had way too many elite evenings where I'm just having a good time doing whatever I'm doing, whatever substances, whatever company I have with me that is just really great company, playing this song and just having had a great time reminding myself like, I'm still young and I can still just have a good old time with life and I don't gotta feel that much pressure. And I love Zayn for making a song like that that actually feels like that. And the music video is fucking lit. And I love this song so much that it makes you just want to fucking smile. We are in the paint by Zayn era. We are in the Nobody Is Listening era. I know the paint by Zayn era is after the Nobody's Listening era, but I combine them as one because 
it's the most recent music that we've had. Anyways, this is a really easy one. This is Calamity. This is the first track off of Nobody Is Listening, the most recent album by Zayn. And this is Zoetry, because it's literally Zoetry. It, anywhere else is just wrong, because it's the most poetic song Zayn's ever written. Next up, we have ourselves an absolute treat. It's better. Better is an amazing song. I love Better so much. Talk about that like real classic R&B Usher influence that is all over the place here. He really came through hard with that classic R&B feel. And it's, it's a Zodly. I love this song so much. It just goes so hard, especially when it really comes in. Next song off of Nobody Is Listening is Outside, and it's one of the easiest Zodlies that I'll be doing all video because this song is perfect. I love the storytelling aspects. The vocals are unbelievable. It's one of my favorite Zay vocal songs because he he sings like this, and then he jumps into that falsetto in the chorus, I'm leaving my love outside, and then he says leave all my shit outside later on in the song, and it's iconic. It's a perfect song. I love this song so much, and the fact that you physically, like, picture every part of the song speaks to the greatness of it. Also, do I keep the dog or do you want him? Coming for the heart and throats like that? I mean, this is the easiest one we're gonna do all day, right? This is why I made the vibes categories because of this song right here. But Love's Around featuring Sid. I really like this song, but this is like another really classic Zayn R&B song. This might be, I said better was like real classic R&B Usher influence. I think this song is the most R&B influenced song on the whole album. I think it's not even close. And I think it's vibes for that reason. I think it's just easy to vibe out to the song. Sid sounds amazing on this song. Zayn's just in his bag R&B wise on this song. So when nobody is listening, it, it's such a poetic album. Like the, nobody's listening, it really is Zayn having reached his writing potential. Like the writing on this album is so transparent in a way that it never has been before. I love Connection, and Connection's gonna go in Zoetry. Remember when I said I was really mad that There You Are wasn't a single that like really propelled anyway, that it should have been a single that everyone in the world was just all about? Well, this song wasn't even a fucking single, and it makes me furious because Sweat should have been a single. Sweat is Zodly. Sweat is Zodly. Sweat is one of the greatest song songs Zayn has ever made. And it's just perfect and it makes me want to sweat it makes me want to take my clothes off for no reason whatsoever in the middle of barnes and noble next up we have unfuckwittable which i really like i just love zane talking to his shit like this song just gets me excited it gets me excited because yeah zane talk that shit you should be talking that shit unfuckable unfuckwittable has to be godly because zane is godly and he's talking about how godly he is on the track this song is borderline this song, I'm gonna be honest, this song is borderline between these bottom two categories. It wouldn't be so bad without the feature. That's the problem. I don't like the feature. But I don't mind the chorus. If that makes sense. I don't like the beginning of the song either, but I do like the chorus. And because I like the chorus, I'm just gonna leave it and usually skip this. Because I will listen to the song up until the first couple choruses. But when I get the verse, I'm usually out on this. Just easy. Just one of the easiest choices I'll make all day is Tightrope is Zodly. Uh, this is the holy grail of nobody's listening to me. It's better outside, sweat, and tightrope. Those are just like above everything else on the album. They're perfect. Tightrope is perfect. Tightrope is also poetry. It's also zoetry. It's also godly, but ultimately it's zodly because it's as good as any song he's ever made. I mean, his vocals are butter smooth on this song and he's so honest and it's just vulnerable and yeah. River Road, we are back in the zoetry bag. This is probably the, like, I think this one's even more zoetry than Connection, but Connection also feels right in zoetry. And I think that just goes to show the mind space Zayn was in when he wrote this album. I mean, I think that like the whole nobody's listening thing, he had more to say than ever on this album. So I think there's gonna be more poetry being spoken here than anywhere else. Zayn, to me, is as good as any artist I've ever heard at picking his features and collaborating with another artist. Now, obviously, they're not all perfect, 
But to me, he nails the collaboration process and fitting in where he fits in and leading where he needs to lead and just doing his thing. I love his features so much. I'm just gonna throw them all into the ranking as they all as I feel like they all fit. We're gonna leave them where they are. I'm not even gonna explain it. I'm just gonna put them there and you guys will just have to trust me on this one. We did it, everybody. We did it. The list is done. The music is playing perfectly right now for where we are at the list. The only song I kind of remember that isn't on here is Dust Till Dawn. Dust Till Dawn is obviously Zodly. It wouldn't go anywhere else but Zodly. I don't know why I missed it, uh, but I missed it when I created all this. I created this list. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out. Love you all. Squad forever.